What's up guys, we're going to be taking a look at this amazing 30 year old vintage Lego Technic set. This is Lego Technic set 8868 and as I say 30 years old. I managed to get it from eBay for £99 which if anybody knows this set that is an absolute bargain. But there was one catch to it and that was it was sold as seen, it was just a box full of bits. The seller couldn't confirm if all the you know if all the parts were going to be there, um, so I just took a chance on it. It's uh, selling online for around three hundred and fifty pounds in its box with instructions and complete, and that's exactly what this was in its box with instructions and complete, with the exception of one piece, and it's that piece there. All right, I managed to change it out um, for the well put put a grey one in. It should have been black like this. I'm going to see if I can get hold of another black one and then change that um, for that. Another slight catch to it is, so it comes with the motor, the power pack and the um, pneumatic pump in there. And it's all, it's all there, but this had batteries in it. And unfortunately they've been left in there and they corroded and it's not working but that's not to say that we're not going to get it working so make sure to stay tuned for that we will get it we will have it working so i've got to look to see if i can order another one of these or potentially just clean up the um conductors in that and actually get this one working but it might actually be a fault with the motor so i don't i don't know at this stage i'll do a bit of research into it anyway let's take a look at the actual set so as i say this is 30 years old and uh, this is something i've wanted it used to be in the little leaflets when I bought Technic, um, obviously many, many years ago. But I'm only 34, so I'm confused a little bit about that. But I remember seeing this set and I really wanted it. And here we are, however many years later, about 25 years later, I've actually managed to, to get it. And I'm, believe it or not, <laughs> extremely excited. But let's have a look at the features. So we've got the good old classic... Uh, light on the top which operates the steering we have the um, six pistons in the v-shape and we also have the fan and they all work I love the fact that the um, the fan and the uh, pistons are all belt driven as you can see from there clip that on there we go so that's what work in that we got the seats the exhaust the horns and then we've got four operating levers two on that side and two on that side with the six chunky wheels they did miss a trick old lego back in the day i believe these should have been air tanks actual real working air tanks which i do have um i have quite a few of these ones which are mold king they're not official lego so i might change them out for that at some point so for the eagle eye viewer i said everything was here with this set which it was by that one missing piece i was a bit unhappy when i tested it out with the pneumatics as they're quite old so i swapped out this cylinder for a mold king one and this cylinder for a mold king one I do have the originals, I'm keeping them, so I can put them back should I ever wish to sell it, so it will all be genuine Lego. So, I think it's time to test it. So what I've done is I've just bypassed the pump there, I've taken the pipeline out of that and put it into this component here, which then allows me to use the good old trusty Mold King compressor. Um, which I, I like to use anyway because it gives us a lot more power so I can just plug in the hose um, Slightly easiest than done. There we go, and then it's gonna be a bit noisy Well, we can flick that on and we can start building up the pressure I didn't know that with this particular set that obviously I, I figured this would rotate um, I just figured it would rotate via manually or by a, you know a thumb screw but it's actually pneumatically controlled and I think that is a fantastic feature. I really like it. But I also think that's all the more reason why they should have made these um, air tanks to give it a little bit more um, holding air capacity. So we can start with operating that to lift that up. That's lifted this one up onto maximum. 
and now I'm not sure which one of the two it is not that one it's that one there we go so we can flick that up and whilst that's in the up position for the minute we can just operate that one and look at that <laughs> how cool is that it moves at quite some speed when it's got quite a lot of pressure it's losing pressure now the compressor is so we'll just trick that back on um, the compressor is a bit temperamental so it has an auto on auto off but it as I say it's a bit, a bit temperamental we set the resistance on it so that it built up higher pressure um, but then it, it don't cut out and I don't know yeah stuff like that so anyway we can swing that round at full speed and then we've got the grabber claw as you can just about see opening and close we can control up and down and then we've got this um, up and down as well <laughs> look at it go it's just amazing I'm absolutely in love with this I just think it's such a cool thing I mean in my opinion it's just so ahead of its time I think Lego has lost its way in my opinion with Technic because they've gone all yeah I mean it's all nice smooth lines and it looks a bit fancier this is quite blocky but the functionality of this in my opinion is so so good I mean we have got the um, the orange Lego uh, pickup truck the Technic one which was released I think last year 2022 I've got that and that's got quite a lot of functions on it and it's about the same price as this because I believe this set retailed for around £150 back in the day so that's a lot of money then right, the compressor's kicked off now so, um, but yeah, <laughs> the speed that it goes with. <laughs> oh, it's crazy when it's, um, that's the compressor set at two bar. But that's it, I've not got too much more to say on it other than for any of you people that are into your old Lego, if you ain't got it already, just, just get it. Just get it. I'm going to get all my pneumatic models out. Um, hopefully tomorrow because I've been so busy trying to make content um, and yeah me and the girls are gonna play with them and it's just great fun right I don't just build it to stick it on shelves I build it to, to play with and have fun and then stick it on a shelf so um, yeah that's it guys I just thought I'd share this I'm so super pleased and thank you to all my new subscribers and yeah for helping make stuff like this possible um, also, I don't know if it's of an interest to anyone, but if you want to become a member on my YouTube channel, there's that option as well, and I will be doing in-video shout-outs, so shout out your YouTube channel, um, yeah, let us know, but um, if you want to be become a member, you get a special badge in the comments, and then I'll give you a shout-out in the video as well, which, you never know, might help your YouTube channel as well, but thanks for watching guys, I shall see you on the next one, bye for now.